British Prime Minister Theresa May is among those paying tribute today to Mary Ellis, a trailblazing aviator. She's died at the age of 101 after long being one of the few surviving female pilots from the Second World War. Ellis was on hand this spring to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force, an organization she predated by one year. During the war, she joined the Air Transport Auxiliary, delivering aircraft from the factories to the front lines. At first, women were trusted only with trainers and transport planes, but a labor shortage meant she was soon flying Spitfires, Wellingtons, and dozens of other warplanes. She recalled how one ground crew refused to believe a woman had delivered their new bomber. I said, I am the pilot. <laughs> and they didn't believe me. And they actually went in the airplane and searched it to find a pilot. And they came back and said, there's nobody there, you must be. Ellis and her colleagues were the first women to receive equal pay from the British government for doing the same work as men. After the war, Ellis moved to the Isle of Wight, where she managed the local airport for 20 years, and she married a pilot. She said she never forgot the exhilarating freedom of flight. Up in the air on your own, and you can do whatever you like. You know, I flew 400 Spitfires, and occasionally I would take one up and go and play with the clouds, which was so delightful and lovely. Oh, I can't tell you how wonderful it was.